Welcome to another video uh, from our Czech pre-modern series. Uh, I'm here with uh, Tomáš Voček. Hello. My name is Adam Koska. We have a matchup of goblins versus monoblack control for you today. Um, so first we have the, the monoblack control. What is what is this deck? It's I mean, it's that's it says it all, right? Monoblack control. There is just something amazing about just playing swamps. Mm -hmm. Just basic swamps. And even if you lose, you just play three swamps, you didn't cast any spells, you lose. It just feels somehow good, right? <laughs> okay, and okay. when I was starting with Magic, Mono Black Control was considered the best deck. Mm -hmm. It had Dark Ritual Necropotence. Okay, we don't have that here today, but that was just one of the strongest decks. Imagine Dark Ritual Necropotence, I think, uh, him to Turak and things like that. It was standard. That sounds ridiculous. I think that was standard back in the day. So, yeah. so ever since people were trying to bring back uh, Mono Black Control, I remember in early 2000s, there was like Cabal Coffers, Mono Black Control. Right, that was a standard deck. That right? was, was a like standard with Torment, which mm -hmm. was the, 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 the set that uh, yes. gravitated towards Black Heavily. Yes, so. yes. Uh, they were trying with the Torment, you know, the Odyssey. Mm -hmm. I think the only problem at the time was that Psychotalk, uh, you could not beat Upheaval with, oh, a, mono okay, black, okay, okay. with a Mono Black Control. All right. But it was an amazing deck and all creature decks, it was just destroying. Mm -hmm. From that time, we have Cabal Coffers and Mutilate. Mm -hmm. So that's something what we what we see here as well. And basically this deck is trying to play many swamps, get a lot of mana with Cabal Coffers, you know, and kill you with Corrupt, you know. Sounds amazing. You're trying to, you, you draw cards with Ferguson Furnace, mm -hmm. trying to control the top of uh, your opponent's library with... Oh, Ferguson Arena, right? Uh, like sorry, cards, with, yeah, 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 right. Ferguson mm -hmm. Arena, and you're trying to control with this super cute card. If you don't have it, all buy it, because it's going to spike, that's for sure. <laughs> it's Wand of Denial. It says, look at the top card of target player's library. If that card is a non-land card, you may pay two life and put that card into player's graveyard. I have to say it's even worse than I thought. I, I didn't realize you have to pay two life. That's That will be quite interesting, yeah. honestly. Yeah. The deck has quite a lot of life gain. So, yeah. so you, you have quite a lot, lot of life gain, and especially when you get to some like mid game and you can, mm. you can start corrupting, uh, that would be like quite uh, that's quite incredible mm. basically the one of denial you you check his hand with some kind of duress and you know what he's looking for mm. and you're trying to deny him that right right hence one of denial sure okay uh, all right and maybe one more thing i'd like to say uh today we're playing against goblins you know obviously one of the most feared turn one plays in all of pre-modern is turn one lucky so all these three innocence blasts will be very important when i'm on mm. the draw so i'll be looking for those uh, when I'm on the play, I have quite a, quite a, quite a few more. You know, I can uh, I can smother. Mm. You know, yeah, yeah, there should be a one man. But and there's always like reset button in t terms of Nemnonos disc and mutilate. So mm -hmm. uh, right. looks like a really cool deck. So yeah. I hope you won't kill me too soon. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I want to dirtle a little bit. Uh, then you can kill me. Try to give you some time before Thank you so know, much. like the. I mean, goblins also have siege game commander for the late game. So I think yeah. it's it can be. Yeah. It's not one of those matchups where. If the aggro deck misses yeah. uh, and doesn't kill the opponent in the early game, it's game over. I think goblins have a lot of reach, but should be quite an interesting uh, matchup. Uh, basically, my list is uh, goblins with green, which is, I think, standard these days for naturalizes, so that I can naturalize your Wand of Denial, or more likely maybe the Phyrexian Arena, Never in All of these Discs. There are some mm -hmm. targets in there. I, I think basically with goblins, uh, there's most of the cards are locked in. Like you're not going to play less than four lackeys, four uh, pile drivers, four war chiefs. So it's mostly about fine tuning those final numbers. This particular version has one Skirk Prospector, one Goblin Tinker, one Goblin Sharpshooter. Um, you can play with those one offs. I think you, could, you can add, you can cut. It's, uh, you can play um, the charm, you might not want to play it, but I think this is pretty close to, to like a stock version. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I, I like Mono Black. I think that it's it's a deck that even has, uh, like that has been resurfacing every couple of years in Magic. Sometimes it's better, sometimes not so much, but there are people who will be trying anyway, yes, regardless of exactly. what, what time it's it is. It's a cult. Yeah, yeah. The one disadvantage for me is that Pre-modern is a format that doesn't rotate, so like there's no, you can't wait for more good black cards to be printed, you know, and yeah, then yeah. the deck to be more competitive. It's it is what it is. Yes. But, um, but, but but I hope this will be interesting matchup. And as you said, I think by the way, uh, if you guys are wondering with, which deck to play, which deck to start, I'm, I'm not going to advocate for mono black control. But I would say goblins seem amazing. You know, it's yeah. it's a top deck. 
it probably always will be top deck. It, it can deal with hate. And exactly, you can you can have very quick wins with turn one lucky, but you can grind, you have wasteland, you have Rishadan port, you can play control game, you mm, can right. you can go wide, you can be fast, so it's a great deck. Yeah. And, uh, I would say it's it's like a safe choice, safe bet for Safe over, choice over, and, and, over, and over. you won't be bored by it because mm. there are so many lines and to say you're a good go goblin player, I think it will take some time <laughs> you know, before you can say that. So I'm not saying that about let's, myself. Let's go for the match. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay, let's play. Okay, so we are in round one. I won the die roll. That's what I really wanted. It's <laughs> my hand and go. So I'm going to start with the default play of turn one goblin lucky, but um, I'm, I'm going to pass. Okay, if you since I'm not winding, <laughs> means I have maybe some. Maybe I have something. Uh huh. Uh, it's a very dead goblin. And. My turn? Oh no, and, um, you uh, you are in the play. So, so play, yeah, yeah, play, uh, Oh, you have no second land. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna go for. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm. I'll take power driver. Go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Go. Um. So I'm just gonna. Mm -hmm. take... Yeah, smother. Mm -hmm. this one. So the pal driver is dead, and you take one. Yes. Nineteen. I'll play. Uh, we shouldn't port. And hmm. Definitely another penalty. Mm -hmm. and now the question is: Do I try to port you? But two damage a turn is not a lot. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna try to increase the clock somewhat by yes. playing this um, Grey Ogre, uh, even worse than that, and we'll pass the turn. It's just one toughness. Yes, please don't call it Grey Ogre. <laughs> what should I call it? It's, an, it's, it's insult to all Grey Ogres. <laughs> okay. Um, swing? Yes, I take four. Mm -hmm. Good 15. Okay. Um, I'll pass the turn to you. Okay, end of turn, I'm going to play Skeletal Scrying. Okay, okay. Which is a super cool card. Yeah, yeah, it is. So I go to 13 mm -hmm. and I draw two cards. That's right. And then while you're tapped out. You probably waste me. I think I want to deny the mana. So I'm yes, going to waste Wasteland and in your upkeep, I'm going to tap of one, one yes, of yes, the swamps. Yes. Drop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, Duress. And miss. Uh, and miss, yes. Oh no. Okay, your turn. Uh -huh. There's a question like, should I wasteland your land or uh, try I, to reach five mana for the, yes. see, the... That is a question. Belag... I'm not going to try to read the name, the German name of this Siege King commander, but mm -hmm. you get the idea. Uh, swing for four. I go to nine. Play a land, pass the turn. Very close to being dead. Yeah, I'm gonna tap this one. Draw. Mm -hmm. One of the names where they had to make the font smaller. Mm. And it's your turn. Mm -hmm. Swing. Five. That's pretty mm. much. I'm pretty much dead. Right. Uh, I think so. I mean, I have another land, but I don't even think I want to play the commander. Uh, you can just, you could just mutilate the board away. I suppose I can go for the sharpshooter, which you know about. It's basically at this point you know my whole hand. Five. Let's see. So what can you have? The thing is, I think if, if you, if, yeah. I, if I kill Gem Palm, I'm not dead next turn. Mm, that's right. But like you need to draw something from the top, and so I think I think I'm playing around mutilate here, which means not playing the sharpshooter. 
mm -hmm. because the sharpshooter it just like the, the only thing that you can do here is to um, cast mutilate to survive I think like you can go drain life you can't even go but yeah I think I'm fine with just passing mm -hmm. and then you tapping your land yeah. okay I'm dead all right. How did you know I had mutilate? <laughs> I mean, I didn't know, but it was like the card that would you get. Out By the way, uh, in the first first turn, my my mm. opener was Dust Bowl and Swamp, Innocent Blood and Smother. Oh. I could play okay, Dust could... Bowl turn two, mm. but I felt I I just want to be sure to cast Smother. Mm -hmm. And since, mm -hmm. of course, this deck wants to play like land every turn, of mm. course, and you could see it got me. But uh, there was there was not not else I not much else I could do. Mm. But like I don't think you can ship like that. No, no, no. Plus this, some this, cards, this right? Uh, the Skeletal Scrying was, was great. I got mm. my, my land drops, but I think if I got a Swamp, which obviously was not coming mm. uh, for a long time, I could like mutilate and then we'd still have a game, maybe get a Corrupt next turn, but mm. yeah. Mm. I, 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 it's very mana-hungry deck. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this was closer than it looked, maybe. So we are, uh, you know, this is... This is what I decided uh, how to how to side. There are quite a lot of cards that are like dubious, but after all, it's mono black control. So <laughs> and we were discussing how good and efficient removal is uh, is drain life. But for sure, I have to take out duress. Like the duress mm. only really discards your answers. Mm. So if I don't play card, you can answer. I, I don't really need duress. Hunting echo. I kept one. It can be. Uh, decent late game card after something like mutilate that you, mm -hmm. you won't have like too many cards left to kill me with and want of denial i kept two but uh, it's obviously not that impressive especially when you have to pay two life <laughs> mm. right and yeah. I, I brought these cards i have i will keep up uh, so now after sideboard i will have only one discard which is unmask i'm thinking it can be even on four mana if i discard like a siege game commander it can mm. be good if you start with uh, lucky and i don't have answer i can i can play unmask and discard that crucial mm -hmm. again like siege game commander so uh, lucky if you don't have anything in hand right then it's uh, not so strong and then i brought plague bearer which can kill more of your uh, multiple of your goblins on the turn i play it mm. so that that's quite interesting uh, yeah some All more right. some more removals. Yeah, basically we, removal and plagues. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, my sideboard is quite straightforward. I think the gem palm incinerators, even though it brought home the victory game one, they are not what I'm looking for exactly here. And um, I need answers to engineered plagues. Um, sometimes boarding in too many answers in certain matchups can be dangerous because then you can have uh, answers instead of um, threats when you want to be proactive. I think this is not the case because you have other targets except for the plagues, like you have arenas, discs, even the one of denial, although I'm not gonna be, like, it's not the, my number one target there, but my sometimes, God. you know, sometimes like maybe if I if I snipe a pl plague and wand with the hull breach, that's gonna feel good. But yeah, basically this is it. This is this is my. I won't give you the opportunity. <laughs> well, okay. okay. That's yeah. So we are in uh, round one. Adam went down to six. I kept seven. Swan mm -hmm. and go. Favorite play. Oh yes. So I'll fetch a mountain, and I'm gonna play the price of rice. Goblin lucky. Yes. Again. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do with the goblins, no? So I'm just I'm just following the the manual. Yeah, but lucky. Where are we just discussing that you don't need goblin lucky turn one? You need a card advantage. That's it, maybe in this matchup is not as crucial in some other matchups, but come on, it's still a good play. Innocent. Mm -hmm. He was very innocent. This goblin lucky. Um, okay, another goblin, another one drop, mm -hmm. and I'll pass. I'll have okay. Gerard decapitating Urza. <laughs> okay, so. okay. Um, I'll attack for one. 19. And then I think I'm to play It looks that. like disenchant. Think... Is that a global enchantment? It is. Okay, well then I'm gonna destroy it. Okay. And go. Disc. 
Mm-hmm. Discotheque. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should have some soundtrack. <laughs> That's fine. So I'm just gonna add to the board, but mm-hmm. also to my hand, hopefully. One, two, three, four. Well, that's not bad. So these go to my hand. These go to the bottom in... Is it random order? It just says bottom of your library. Mm-hmm. So I'm just gonna put it there like this. 18. And I'll swap oh, three. 16. And I'll pass the turn. Now I would like to have that mind sludge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we discussed if Mind Sludge is, does actually anything in the matchup. No, it would. All right, so pass the turn. Mm-hmm. So now the question is, do I want to keep adding to the board? Um, well, I could play another ringleader, which adds to the board. You have to probably... Mm-hmm. Uh, how many cards do you have? Four cards. Or I could just attack, see what happens here at 16, and then maybe play something else. Maybe I'll blow it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Like, well... Okay, let's do it this way. So I'm gonna attack... 13. Take three, okay. And I'll play Goblin Matron. Yes. Um... And so I think so. I think there's like several different cards. I could go for um, a ringleader here. Maybe that's what I want. Bec- or I could like chain another goblin matron. It's kind of sweet. Just adding one power to the board at the time. But I think ringleader is maybe slightly better because like there's no specific card I want. Like no silver bullet. Uh, I could also go for Mog Fanatic and play it, but that would make you uh, pull the trigger on that disc for sure. So I'm just going to go for another ringleader mm-hmm. and I'll pass the turn. Alright, I'll draw a card. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Play Bayering. Sure, that is a card that I like a lot. Yes. You just need a lot of time for this one. Yeah. I hope you will give me some. (laughs) Go. So you're 13. Hmm. Okay, if I play another ringleader here pre-combat, then you're certainly pulling the trigger there, I suppose. So I think I might just want to deal more damage here and then play something post-combat. I'm just gonna attack. Yeah, I'll blow it mm. this time. Right, so I'll ping you for one. Yes, so 12. Mm hmm. And now the question is what do I do? Mm. I'll fetch. 11. Uh, what? Uh, oh, oh, that was the, the yeah. Mod Fanatic? No, no, no. I'll, I'll <laughs> fetch. <laughs> and I can go for a forest. I think I have enough mountains already. And I think I want to play a Siege again, just to like make you do something. If Mm -hmm. if you go Mutilate, that's fine. I can always like attack with some hasty creatures. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll pass the turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I will just draw two. Sounds good. So now you go to ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm Hmm. Mutilator would be kind of sweet if you have another land that you could like. Uh, I'll search. Yeah. All right. Don't have mutilates, but I have mm-hmm. take. That is also good. So these goblins go away, and this returns into my hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, okay. Now it's yours. All right. So I. S- Oh, that was not bad at all. Um, yeah, I guess I want to go for War Chief. Yes. Uh, naturalize. That's pretty and good. Swing good four. Fix. And go. Draw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Correct. Mm-hmm. Six. Gate six. Chief is dead, and you gain six. Twelve. Your mm-hmm. turn. So I'll start with the ringleader. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. Not bad at all. Great. Um, what is it? Uh, your attack. It's uh, well, it's gonna be for four. Yes, for sure. Oh, you were at twelve. I was at twelve. Right, yes. right. Um. Okay, I'll pack. Yes. So like turtles match. Mm-hmm. And. Um, what do I do here? Okay, here at eight. So, like, if I pass, I have the two mana to to fling a creature at you in case you want to mm-hmm. go for something, which I think makes sense with like corrupt and other stuff that gains life. Yes. And then the trouble is, like, do I kill you next turn? And I think the answer is yes. Uh, Famous last words. <laughs> uh-huh. But not necessarily. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass just to play around these the, the right. other cards that are gaining life. Go. Six cards? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, sure. Go one goblin down. Lake. Ooh. Okay, sure. And. Go. Mm. So, what can I do here? Hmm. So I think I just want to play this 4 mana 1-1. One, one. doesn't sound so great when you say it this way. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry? In response. In response. Idiot. So... So I'm going to fling the Siege Gang at you in response. And so this is still on the stack. Yes, this is on the stack. So in response to the Absolutely. Egg, yes. yes. So I go to Siege. Fling this guy. Then this yeah, result. Yeah, you. One, two, three, four. Not as good as the previous Next one. last. So now... Let's go. That's my. I'm still like average. What one point eight goblins per ring leader, something like that. No, I think I think you were you did all right. So, <laughs> so I'm five. just gonna attack for one and pass. Okay. So d- d- have you stabilized? Is this the turning point? I don't know. I think I think top of my deck has something to say about right. it. If only you had the wand of denial and you could just like help mm, exactly. top of your deck. Exactly. Mm. Unmask. Hard cast and my school. I love it. Okay. Uh, there's like these these three goblins die immediately, but this one at least searches for something, and then there's Pablo Uh huh. I think I'll take Matron. Mm hmm. Makes sense. And your turn. Mm hmm. So now I basically have to draw the an answer to the plague or try to kill you with this 1 1. And Pretty much, yes. Also with, also with the Pile Driver. You could, you could wait with it a little bit. Yeah. That would be quite nice. I go to four. It's gonna attack for one, mm-hmm. play a ball driver, and I think that's it. Go. Okay, I'll just activate that. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Swaps. Why there is something like desertification and not like swampertification? <laughs> that is. Let's a, go. Yeah. yeah. A very philosophical question. Mm, yes. This, this. Okay. I don't mind you blowing up that engineer flake. Yes. I'll preach. Go. All right. So. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. It's, it's much There's worse than I. Think. Mysterious hand that just appeared from from uh, somewhere. I'll attack. Yeah. Oh, I don't have to... Oh, I have to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but this is two, two extra damage. Yeah, yeah, So I'll pull it. Uh-huh, so you take one. I go to three. You go to three, and I'll get rid of that oh, no. glacier, and I'll oh, pass no. the turn. So you were a friend. 
I mean, come on, you used it already. Okay, yes, fair enough. I gave you some, okay, I waited with the wasteland so that you would get some value right. out of it. That's what a friend would Let's do. Let's go. Um, swing. Two. <laughs> go. Now this, it's a very cool card. <laughs> Is it a good card or just a cool one? Mm. Your turn. All right. So the goblin will try to eat half of your life total. Half. Oh, it's so strong. <laughs> it is a very strong goblin, yeah. Well, um, yes, I take it. I'll play a part and pass. Mm -hmm. In you your pop. upkeep, yes. I'm going to tap one of the lands. And go. Come on, come on. One time corrupt. <laughs> that would be nice, though. Like... That does not sound it's actually, like it. It's actually probably all right. Okay. Huh. Okay. Okay. It only takes nine mana to kill this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Is so. it a block? It's, it's just a blocker, right? Like you can still trade him. Yeah. yeah it's for a, the one. Yeah, one. I can trade, of course. Okay. But obviously, I wanted to kill like six goblets with it. Uh huh. It's not going to work. This trade. does something. Let's see what it does. No, I don't want anything that does anything. So for three mana. Uh, Matron enters the battlefield and then leaves immediately. Okay. And then let's see what we have. You sided to... out cyclers. I did, I did, yeah. I can I can go for another ringleader and just try to attack with two one ones when you only have one blocker. I think that's that's what I'm or like actually war chief. No, but like the ringleader is better. I think that's what I wanna what I wanna go for. Are you sure? I think so. You don't have nine mana currently, so Hmm, um, but there's the there's also the no, okay, this is fine. I wanna do this. So that would probably force you to, to activate the disc. Which uh, but you have fine with. you have a mock fanatic. That's do you know it or are you guessing? Uh, I saw it with unmask. Oh that's right. So yeah, another ringleader. Uh trigger? Yes. One, two, three, four. Well, embarrassment of riches. And attack. Mm -hmm. I have to think about it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. So now I, there's corrupt. There is a corrupt. Pretty yeah, much. they basically corrupt. Yeah. Um, I think in the late game, this game could have gone uh, in any way. You know, like like. There, there was a, there, a sequence of a couple of turns. Even if you draw, if you, if you drew the plague bear earlier, maybe that would do something. Yeah, um, I would have a life. Yeah, I, I just, I just drew uh, Phyrexian Arena. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Yes. But... So, yeah, but I think we we we, we kind of saw that that the mono black deck uh, is capable of surviving until late game, and then it's just about like how how well it draws the yeah, the, the good if, cards. Maybe if I had another play uh, engineered plague. Mm. Oh yeah, that that would have done it. Like the second plague locks me out, so even like diabolic tutor for another plague would mean that that yes. you know lights out. Yes, basically mm -hmm. that was the thing. Mm. I would get uh, I would get plague. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think this only has two plagues. This oh, version. okay, okay. Because... I think I think probably if I if I'm if I'm playing it in a tournament, I would just go like full on like uh, these plagues. You could add one more. That's could be at least one. Like I think one. I think three is a good number. With mm. like, mm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for the game. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next game. Yeah.